so the first week, a lot of people, not everyone, like I didn't, but a lot of people have a feeling of full stomach, even a little bit nausea and diarrhea sometimes. And it goes away after a week. If it doesn't go away, which happens in three to 5% of the patient, we take them off metformin. We don't know if we're right or wrong, but you know, they're considered that they're not tolerating uh, metformin. After that, people have no idea that they're in metformin. There's nothing that's going to happen to them. Wow. Uh, after long usage of metformin, there is a decline in B12 vitamin. So people, diabetologists, in, after a few years of treatment, will exam, will see B12, and if it's low, they'll prescribe B12 to their people. So in other words, yes, there is some of connect, co connection between um, maybe absorption of vitamin or maybe it's B12, B12, you know, every vitamin has their own uh, little story. B12 uh, needs something else from the stomach in order to, to get in. But so there is some kind of connection. I'll tell you that in TAME, we didn't think that uh, based on the literature and the IRB agreed with, they didn't think that we need to uh, measure B12 and the private doctors who will treat their patients can do whatever they want. If they put them in B B12, they, they, they'll put them on B12. Metformin has, uh, there, 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 there is a history that there is a history that the first extract um, of, of this drug, actually the drugs are called B guanides. And the first drug was called fenformin. And fenformin had a side effect where it, it caused lactic acidosis. And uh, it increased lactic acid in almost everyone, but some people had lactic acidosis, which really prevented uh, metformin and the FDA to be really critical and look and see that it doesn't happen with metformin. And it doesn't happen with metformin. There was even uh, something that was called MALA, metformin associated lactic acidosis. It's people who have lactic acidosis, which happens, who are also on metformin, uh, but there is no cause effect relationship between them. And, and there's no adverse side effect that was uh, raising in 80 years that was raising flags. And there's a report here and there of something that happens, but it's very hard to do something with case reports. Metformin still is considered, as I said, you're, you're, you're much more likely to live longer than to have atrial fibrillation.